Hello, Fofamid here, and today we're going to be talking about head and body swaps. And essentially the reason why you would want to do a head or a body swap is if you ever find it really hard to either put clothing on your avatar or um, if you're finding it really hard to find new outfits for your avatar and you're finding that like maybe there's one particular model out there that has like a poop ton of options. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to do a body swap or a head swap. This video has been brought to you by Private Internet Access for fast, reliable internet browsing that allows you to appear like you're from any country in the world. Please click on the link in the video description down below. Using that link really helps this channel grow. Okay, so once you have Blender open, what you're gonna do is go to your cat's plugin and go to import model. And then that's where you're gonna find the avatar that um, you're gonna be working with. So in this case, we're working with Sly's avatar and we're just finding it in caps plugin using the import model setting and we're going to be importing the fbx file so now we have it imported and you can see that um everything is just kind of in its base state right now so what you should do is fix the model for any all like humanoid avatars that you're going to be working with and once it's fixed you're going to see a bit of a change so in this case we have both of our avatars here and what we're what I personally like to do especially for a head swap is I like to um, bring in all the textures just so I can visually see them just so I know like what looks right and what looks wrong um, especially when you're doing something like a head swap where you're dealing with two different models and maybe possibly two different textures that might not completely match I find it really really helpful just so that like when I am like um, essentially what you're doing is like you're cutting and pasting you're playing like Frankenstein and like mashing all the different parts together you want to make sure that you can see if there is any difference so once you do that then um, what you're going to do is with the avatar um, you're going to scale them so that they're roughly about the same size so make sure that you select the armature on whatever um, avatar that you're going to be scaling and then go to the transform and then that's where you're going to actually be playing with the scaling um, at this point you just have to get it close enough it doesn't have to be 100 percent there but i find like toggling um, the mesh on and off just so i can see both of the armatures really really helps a lot so um, once you have it pretty close, then that's where you can really start dialing in the scale. So I noticed that the arms are a little bit too long in one of the bodies, as well as um, you see that I have the smaller mesh. I have the smaller mesh highlighted just so I can see the outline. So you can see the outline right there of, of the model and what it looks like. So what I'm doing actually here is I'm trying to scale the body down so that it fits more along that outline of, of the mesh of the original body. So because I know that like this to maintain that that same kind of scaling that we see um, with this original avatar. So so like, for example, if the head's like really small, but the body is really big, it won't look really that right. So we want to make sure that when we attach this new body to the head, that it looks like it belongs. So as you, you will see me here is that I'll be going back and forth between the armature of the, the body that I'm scaling and then the mesh. And I'm actually here, I'm just spinning it around just to see like how close it, it does match to the original body. And as you can see here, I am fiddling with it quite a bit because you want to make sure that it's right, like as close as possible. So once you get it close, then on each of the avatars, you're going to delete the parts that you don't want. So on the one on the left, you're going to see, is it left or okay. So on the one on this side, um, I want to keep everything but the head. Whereas the one on this side, I want to keep everything but um, the body. So you're going to see me deleting each of the parts um, that that's happening right there. So the what if you're finding issues deleting all of the vertices make sure that you like so right here i'm in the wireframe mode and that allows you to just to select all the vertices really really easily whereas um here you've been seeing me just selecting things by material and just deleting those as a whole just because um the way this avatar um this one was set up it makes it a lot easier so here um now we have all of the things cut apart and you see that there is some of that mesh poking through that's why i find that the textures really really help a lot and you can see like how some of the head, even though we cut off a lot, it's still poking through the new body that we're adding to it. So then what I'm gonna do is like, there's a couple ways that we can approach this. 
So one way is that we can cut off like completely. Um, so we just have the floating head. So we're cutting right below the chin. And then that way you're using the neck of the new body. Or um, I'm going to be doing something a little bit more cheaty is I'm going to use this necklace right here. Since the this necklace is part of the outfit, I'm going to actually uh, cut away the original mesh and then so have it like have that seam hidden under the necklace because I find that it's a lot easier to hide that than it would be to hide it under under the chin line. And so that's what I'm going to be doing um, right now. So in order to do that, um, I'm, I had to separate all the materials and then and then make it so that I only can see where I'm going to keep that seam. And then I'm going to go back into the edit mode on the mesh and you're going to see me deleting all the vertices to hide it under that necklace. The only thing here is that you have to make sure that you're careful not to um, cut away too much. But in this case, I'm able to cut off a lot more and it's very important that you see it from all angles. So that's where you're seeing me spinning it around. And that's how I know that in the front, since the necklace is angled, that I need to put a lot less. And as you can see here, um, the, it actually looks pretty good. And in most cases, like for VTubing avatars or even VR chat, it's very like not common for people to like have like a really, really close look, um, especially like around that neckline area. And even still, it still matches pretty good. So the next thing I'm doing is um, the props or like the accessories for this avatar. I'm just going to make sure that they match because I did change the, the head, but I wanted to keep the sunglasses. So here you can just, um, since it's just controlled by a mesh and not a bone, you can just move the mesh around just to get it to, to fit uh, where it should be on that avatar. And you can basically do the same thing with any of the meshes for, um, for uh, the avatar. You can do the, basically with meshes, uh, you can just freely move them around without really having to worry too much uh, about like having weird placement or it not moving properly when you're moving because you're doing everything in Blender where everything's gonna kind of like bake in together. So now we're gonna, you're getting ready for the final merge. And this is a very optional step. Um, I'm just used to using an older version of Blender. So what you see me doing here is I'm deleting the arms. And the reason is because the arms don't want 100% match. And um, I've had times where sometimes the arms kind of has some weirdness to it. So this is 100% optional. You should be fine to do it without it. And then now what I'm gonna do is in the Cats plugin, um, there is a new option. I'm just doing a final check as you can see right here. Okay, so we're going to this part right here. Where is it? Right here. Custom model creation in, in Cats plugin. So when you go to the Cats plugin, there's a drop down menu. And then in that drop down menu, you're going to see something called custom model creation. So what's really important here is um, I find the thing that messes up the most um, when you're merging two avatars together is the fingers. So basically, whatever has the fingers, this is from my experience from older versions of Cat's Plugin and Blender, is make that the parent, and then we're merging the armature with the head onto the one basically with the with the little fingies. And then what you're going to do afterwards is just hit Merge Avatar. And now everything's merged. So this is the final result. Everything should be okay at this point. And you can see that everything is now like seamlessly merged as one single avatar. And it should have gotten also when you do the merge, it should get rid of any excess bones that you don't need. If you need to um, make like double check and fix that, then you just go to fix model and that should get rid of any excess bones. You see here, there is one thing that I do need to touch up is the tail since the tail's kind of poking through the jacket. And in reality, like if you were to have a tail, it'd be under the jacket. So here I'm just going into pose mode and then I'm putting the tail down. And then there's a button um, up here that is a, basically it says apply as resting pose. And that makes it so that um, that's the default pose now for the tail. And you might need to do this for any other thing, depending on the avatar that you have.
Now everything is applied as the resting pose. And then essentially now you're ready to save. So um, I'm just gonna save this blend file. So I really recommend saving the blend file rather than going in and exporting the FBX and leaving it at that. Because when you're working with the original blend file, it makes it a lot easier if you wanna be able to change and modify things in the future. And then you can always just export the new FBX or the model file in the future. Thanks for watching the video and I hope you found it helpful. If you have any questions, please leave it in the comments down below. Also, I stream on Twitch and if you want to pop in and talk about avatar stuff or anything in general, just uh, come and check me out on Twitch. Bye everyone.